हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिस प्रैक्टिकल कोर्स ऑन स्टैटो सॉफ्टवेयर इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस ऑन हाउ टू परफॉर्म रिस्पॉन्स स्पेक्ट्रम एनालिसिस ऑन टू अ स्ट्रक्चर बट बिफोर दैट लेट मी फर्स्ट टेल यू वॉट इज रिस्पॉन्स स्पेक्ट्रम एनालिसिस एंड वाई डू वी नीड टू परफॉर्म रिस्पॉन्स स्पेक्ट्रम एनालिसिस सो लेट से वी स्ट्रक्चर विच इज सब्जेक्टेड टू ए लेटर लोड पी ड्यू टू अर्थ क्वेक नाउ ड्यू टू दिस लेटर लोड द स्ट्रक्चर विल गेट डिसप्लेसड बाई amount delta so this displacement which is generated in the structure due to lateral load is called as response of the structure now if this displacement is varying with time then it will give us velocity and if this velocity is varying with time it will give us acceleration so we can say that when a structure is subjected to any kind of lateral load it will produce three kinds of responses that is displacement velocity and acceleration and the assessment of all these three are done in response spectrum analysis so let's say we have a structure which is at its mean position at t is equal to 0 seconds and let's say this structure is subjected to a ground motion due to earthquake so at t is equal to 1 second let's say the displacement generated is 3 mm at t is equal to 2 second the structure is getting displaced by 5 mm and at t is equal to 3 second the structure is getting displaced by 2 mm and let's say that this earthquake ground motion lasted for only 3 seconds so here you can see that the maximum response of the structure is at t is equal to 2 second which is 5 mm so here what we are concerned about we are concerned about only maximum response of the structure if we design our structure for this maximum response then obviously it is going to withstand all other responses so now let's say we have thousands of structures and let's say the time period of those structures is t1 t2 t3 and so on and for those thousands thousands of structures corresponding to their natural time period we will have natural frequency that is n1 n2 n3 and so on and when all these structures are subjected to a same ground motion let's say that we are getting the response of those structures let's say we are measuring acceleration so let's say the acceleration is a1 a2 and so on now if we plot a graph in which we are taking the natural time period of all those thousands of structures which are subjected to a same ground motion we are taking natural time period of those those structures on the x axis and spectral acceleration that is nothing but response of those structures against y axis now if we plot a curve then we will get a curve something like this so this curve is known as response spectrum curve now let's say you want to design a building which is having a height h above the ground level and it is having some certain plan dimensions l and b so for that structure what you will do first first you will calculate the natural time period of the structure now corresponding to that natural time period you will check what is the maximum response of the structure from this response spectrum curve let's say the natural time period is 2 seconds so for t is equal to 2 seconds what you will check what is the maximum response of the structure so you will get the maximum response and you will design the building for that maximum response so here what concept we are using let's say you have two kinds of structures time period of first structure is let's say t1 and natural time period of second structure is let's say t2 and let's say if the natural time period of these two structures are same then we can say that the maximum response of these two structures will also be same that is we can say that sa by g of this first structure will be same with sa by g of the second structure so this is the concept that we are using in case of response spectrum analysis that is we are just matching the natural time period in this response spectrum curve and corresponding to that we will get the maximum response of that structure and we will design the structure for that 
maximum response now let's discuss when do we need to perform response spectrum analysis so it is clearly mentioned in the code IS 1893 part 1 2016 so as per that clause 7.7 .7, linear dynamic analysis or the equivalent static method shall be performed to obtain the design lateral force for all buildings other than regular buildings lower than 15 meter in seismic zone 2 so if a structure is situated in seismic zone 2 and if the height of that structure is less than 15 meter then you can go for the linear dynamic analysis or the equivalent static method but if your structure is situated in zone 2 but the height of that structure is more than 15 meter or let's say if your structure is situated in zone 3 4 or 5 then as per the code you must go for response spectrum analysis so that's all for this video in the next lecture we will discuss about how to perform this response spectrum analysis in stato connect edition thanks for watching bye for now